hello out there welcome to this tutorial on graph of square roots of numbers in this video we'll be drawing the graph of square root of numbers from given set of perfect square or square numbers then we can also use the graph to solve the square root of non-perfect square or square numbers so we go ahead with the problem Problem A, complete the table below for y equal to root x, plot the points on the grid and join them. B, use your graph to find the value of 1 root 7, 2 root 40, 3 root 55 and 4 root 60. So since y equal to square root of x, so we are going to be finding the square root of the following numbers root 0 is 0, root 1 is 1, root 4 is 2, root 9 is 3, root 16 is 4, root 25 is 5, root 36 is 6, root 49 is 7, and root 64 is 8. Please, for your information, we are only interested in the positive roots in this problem. We are not interested in the negative roots. Take that into your mind. The square root of any number are 2. So we have both positive value and the negative value. So we are interested in only the positive value in this problem. So we then go ahead to plot the points so for the first point 0 comma 0 we have it as the origin and the other one is when x is 1 y is 1 when x is 1 um here is 2 4 6 so when x is 1 is halfway here y is 1 it will be and the midway then when x is 4 y is 2 when x is 4 is this line y is 2 this is the point when x is 9 y is 3 when x is 9 is half between this line and the line before it so we go up and y is 3 so we have it at this point you can see it's midway for your information your graph may be different from ours so you have to understand what each of the lines represent so we now go ahead again when x is 16 y is 4 this is 12 14 16 this is the line and y is 4 this is the point here when x is 25 y is 5 25 is midway between 20 and 30 so it goes y is 5 this is the point here we mark it when x is 36 this is 32 34 36 so y is 6 this is the point we mark it out when x is 49 is halfway between 50 and the line before it y is 7 so this is the point here we mark it when x is 64 this is 60 64 y is 8 so we have the point here as 64 8 then we join the point we then join the points so we have the point join and uh, we are done with a part of the problem then for b part of the problem use your graph to find the root of 1 root 7 2 root 40 3 root 55 and 4 root 60 so we now go ahead to find the square root of 7 uh, which means x is equal to 7 so we come here this is 2 4 6 8 7 is here you draw the line until it touches the curve then where it touches the curve you draw it to y axis and uh, we read this is 2.2.4.6 2.4.4.6 2 
5 it is not up to 2.7 so we did it as 2.65 so and then um, the b part of the problem root 40 this is 40 so we draw the line to touch the curve it touches it here then at the point of intersection of the line and the curve we draw to y axis and read this is 6 6.2 6.4 and that is about 6.3 so we'll record it as 6.3 then we go to b3 b3 is root 55 we go to 55 55 is midway between 50 and 60 this is the line here we draw it to touch the curve and from there we draw to y axis this is 7.2 7.4 and we record it as 7.4 which is approximate if you like you can put 7.41 or 42 we just approximated it to be 7.4 since we cannot get the exact decimal there then the last one which is root 60 um x is 60 we draw the line to touch the curve and from there we draw to y axis and this is approximately 7.8 so we have it as 7.8 as the approximate root of 60. we have just told you that please all these values bred from the graph are just approximate value they cannot be exact value that is the end of solution to this problem this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching see you in our next video until then goodbye